Were there dinosaurs on the ark? Absolutely. Well, Tommy, you just made an absolutely statement. You weren't there to see those creatures get on the ark. How do you know dinosaurs are on the ark? Because I can read. Were the land animals made on day six? Yes. What else is made on day six? People. People and dinosaurs walk the earth together? God's word is absolutely clear about that. Dinosaurs are made on day six. Air-breathing land animals. Are dinosaurs land animals? Yes. Did Noah take two of every kind of land animal, seven of some, on board the ark? Yes. Were there dinosaurs on the ark? See, that's not hard. Two of every kind of air-breathing land animal, seven of some, were on board Noah's ark. Were there dinosaurs on the ark? Absolutely. But having said that, it does raise some interesting logistical problems. First of all, how did he get them through the door? Remember, some dinosaurs were 130 feet long. I mean, like... Yeah, butter their head and push. How do you do that? And then once you squirt them through the door, you got to get them back off, right? Now, we all know how ridiculous those two slides were. But folks, I'm going to tell you this. That's what a lot of people in the secular world think Christians believe. And the reason I know that is I've been involved in the creation ministry at one level or another for over 30 years. And I have so many seculars to approach me like this is what I believe. It's amazing to me how the seculars tell Christians that what they believe is stupid and what they say we believe isn't even what we believe. And I've had college professors, many of them over the years, approach me like, well, yeah, how can you believe in that whole fairy tale about Noah's Ark? But you actually believe there were dinosaurs on the ark? Tommy, that's the most unscientific thing I've ever even remotely heard of because they think we're trying to put a 100-foot-long dinosaur on a houseboat. That's not what we believe. But the thing is, we need to have sound, biblical, scientific answers. Folks, if you take a stand for Jesus Christ in this culture, odds are at some point you're going to get this question. I got it lots of times from my patients over the years when I was in my medical practice. But guess what, folks? There's a simple answer to this. How did dinosaurs reproduce? But how did they have babies? How do you know since you never saw a dinosaur lay an egg? Fossils of the eggs. That's right. What do you find inside those eggs? You find fossilized baby dinosaurs. We got fossilized dinosaur eggs of a variety of different types of dinosaurs. And again, this is really fascinating. How big is a T-Rex egg? It's about the size of a football. A couple years ago, I had a kid tell me it was the size of a Volkswagen. Now, folks, I don't know about you, but I'd pay a quarter to see a creature lay an egg the size of a Volkswagen. Waffle House gets a hold of an egg that size. We got omelets from now to next Thursday, man. We're eating good for a while. But the point is this. Before you have a big dinosaur, you got a what? You got a little dinosaur. So let's think this through. What were the dinosaurs supposed to do when the flood was over? Reproduce. Make more dinosaurs. All the creatures are supposed to reproduce and make more creatures of whatever kind they were. Dinosaurs are supposed to reproduce and make more dinosaurs. So let's think about this. Is God going to lead fully grown dinosaurs to Noah? Creatures that are already far into their reproductive years? Or say the young adults? Creatures that are just getting ready to enter their reproductive age. And would still have many, 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 uh, many years left to reproduce and lay eggs. I would argue that it's the young adults. Now some people said there were babies on the ark. I'm not quite as comfortable with that because we don't know how old dinosaurs would have had to have been before they could start laying eggs. But I would suggest that God led to know of those creatures that would be ready to reproduce as soon as the flood was over. You know, they may have been, you know, they may have been laying eggs on the ark. We don't know for sure. But the thing is, when they got off the ark, they'd be ready to reproduce. So the, the dinosaurs on the ark were not fully grown. They were the young adults. You know, so the T-Rexes weren't fully grown. They, were big, they, the, the, they weren't these ginormous ones, but they were going to be able to reproduce when the flood was over. All we need to do is think this through.